fourth grader found this giant trilobite at the falls of Ohio. Just amazing. There's so many stories of little kids finding incredible finds. So it's a sponge, fossilized sponge, with the internal mold of a snail, if I understood that correctly. Geodized coiled cephalopod. That is about eight, nine inches across. That's huge. Cephalopod. I don't know if I said snail, but it's cephalopod. Cyclocystoid, they are very rare. Oops. This is a fish jaw about an inch across. This display was made by Jenny Green and students. Created by Genesis and alternative school students Theo, Jake, Sean, Kevin, Zach, Ayana, Dominic, Damien, Brandon, Cody, and Jonah. Fossils provided by Jenny and Robin Green. This is a really nice Ordovician diorama made by uh, some young students. They did a really nice job decorating this. into this magnifying glass. I'll look underneath it to see it better. There's a crinoid. A crinoid stem. Here's a about a four inch wide isotelus trilobite and rolled, rolled up like a ball. Got some fragments missing off. This is a clay trilobite somebody made. There's some little tiny ones. Smallest one is about a little less than a fourth of an inch. Get all the way up to uh, about half an inch. Here's a cephalopod fragment. And there's a clay model of it. Another clay trilobite. Another cephalopod. Isn't it? The kids made that, out of, made that out of clay. Plus your pod clams. And somebody painted them to show what it looked like when they were alive. They're even showing the uh, pedicle, the uh, soft body tissue that comes out of the, out of the, uh, the bottom part to keep it anchored to the seafloor. Gastropod snails. Brachiopods. Okay, so then right in the heart of the display, they have some really nice specimens.
This is a huge crinoid. That calyx is about five inches across. And the stem on that is, wow, only as big as a, about a fat pen. Not a regular pen, kind of a fat pen. Some smaller ones just to the side. Nine inches long, about six and a half across, and you got matching halves. Here's the written information on that one. Mike Davis, dinosaur bones was collected. Pause this tape and read that. This is amazing. This man uh, and his daughter collecting geodes that weather out. It's just amazing. And, and these are not just any geodes. They're, some of them have fossils within them. And they inflate and explode outwards. It's called exploding outwards, meaning the minerals have expanded outwards from it. This was horn coral. And uh, that very tip is from a horn coral. And it's geodized.